What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Cast. We've got Speed spawning gear in the bottom right hand corner. His opponent, Saxory, in the top left. How you guys doing today? Hope you're having an excellent week. I've really got to stop reading the comments, guys. I apologize to everyone who makes nice comments and who actually wants to communicate in a, a decent way with me. But I really do feel like I need to stop reading these freaking things. There's so many uh, absolutely degenerate people who want to comment just the most ridiculous stuff. And it honestly, I, I want to say that it doesn't bother me, but occasionally it gets under my skin. A lot of those times that comments are absolutely ridiculous or makes no sense whatsoever. I kind of just ignore them or uh, take a, a quick like copy of them and put it in a file folder. I've, I've got like a screenshot of, you know, quite a few different really ridiculous dumb comments. And I was thinking about eventually making a video about that uh, and kind of talking about the the difficulty of dealing with this stuff as a YouTuber, but I don't know if that's a, a really good idea. Maybe I'll do that as like a send off, a farewell to the comment section. Like after this video, I'm no longer going to be answering comments, something like that. If you guys want to talk to me, you can always go over to Discord and chat to me. Um, and actually we can have a civil conversation on Patreon as well as another way you can reach me, but this whole leaving a incredibly demeaning or like condescending comment uh, with no basis in reality and you know no real thought behind it is kind of disgusting to me it makes me feel like um makes me feel bad about uh putting videos online but i i have to try to let that go I have to try and get that out of my head and, and remember that there's lots of good people out there and there's a, a lot of good comments out there as well. It's not like the majority of comments are bad, but there's just a lot of really dumb comments that uh, that come my way, unfortunately. And so uh, that's that's just in my thought. That's in my thoughts right now. That's in my head right now. That's uh, kind of what I'm thinking about. That's how my day is going. Hope you guys are doing well, but we're jumping into this game. I really wanted to check this one out. Not because of Saxry, but because of speed. I'm a big fan of this guy. I think he's super interesting to watch. Uh, he's been having some great performances recently. And showing up kind of similar, similarly to like a rush uh, two years ago or one year ago. Where I, I think it was like two to three years ago. He wasn't really uh, well known at all. Uh... He was kind of on the come up. He made his first appearance in the ASL and then he started doing very, very well after that. Like he really took it seriously. He became extremely strong. He's a really strong, uh, aggressive Terran player. You, know, you could you could swap out the names and the dates and you can tell that this I'm actually talking about speed rather than rush or rush rather than speed. We've got a one racks fast expand coming out of him. He got the gas quite early and he's going to be going into an academy. I haven't seen a second barracks just yet. He got a good scout off though. Saw that Saxory was going for uh, uh, 12 hatch this game. We've got the Spire on the way. Not sure if we can afford a 2.5 hatch here. He's in fact going to send a drone over to the top right and just grab an expansion instead. So no in base macro hatchery. It's going to be more of a two hatch play. Uh, with that third uh, base coming up here shortly and taking it at the natural means he's probably going to go for a more long-term play getting mutas out to do a little damage slow down the terran player uh, control the marines out on the map and then eventually transition into lurker here at the front without the very quick plus one oh actually oh that plus one is quite far along did he build that before the academy? I actually didn't see this building coming up. Hmm, kind of missed out on that. 
That plus one's pretty far along. I wanted to say that um, without getting the plus one really early on, you won't have the plus one armor in time for the lurkers to come out. But let's just see. Let's see what this uh, the timing on this looks like. Comes the first scan. Should be casting that any minute now. I'm gonna go ahead and see the natural one. What does he see? He just sees what's this? Eight drones on mineral patches. That's a pretty good number. Sees those eggs as well. It's not like he's cutting anything right now. That uh, Saxory is cutting drones, or you know, he knows that there shouldn't be like a big group of lings for it. For example, sitting out in front of his natural, waiting for this marine medic to come out. Then the lings surround and the mutas come in. This gets knocked out. That's not going to happen. Instead, it's going to be uh, mutas flying into his main. Just a few lings posted up outside to check and see when those marines are going to be coming out. Five mutas in the main. Enough to snipe a marine in one shot, but not enough to shoot down a SCV in one shot one shot so looking for some snipes on marines right now is a pretty good option are we up to seven we are up to eight now so one shotting scvs is now a possibility but instead he's going to work on the front and this makes sense we're going for the carapace upgrade interesting choice here from saxory adding on more mutas but this is more of a, a long-term play i'm gonna kill that supply depot try to slow down our terran opponent Ooh, nice snipe on that medic. Two marines here at the back are going to get picked off as well. Very good control so far from Saxory and Speed having a bit of a rough time. I like the, the build so far. He's got plus one armor on the way. He's going to get a factory started. He's got four racks, so he can start to pressure out on the map. He hasn't really lost many SCVs thus far. Keeping most of those alive through this pressure out in the front. Is he going to move across the map right now? Looks like he will. Start to push. Almost catches a Mutalisk. Uh, being rallied forward. He only loses one SCV, I think. He's got 31. Will he stop at 35 and ramp up this pressure? I think that can be a good move. A good strong move. Muta's taking fights here over top of the high ground. But not really getting a whole lot of damage done in these mineral lines. With only one SCV having been picked off. He's got to do a lot of damage to these marines. If he wants to even things out. He wants to make these mutalists worthwhile. Sending back some injured mutas. And he's going to bring a few more healthy ones to the front. 11 mutas ready to dive on this small group of bio. We don't have a lot of... Lings on the map, but there's a fair few sitting here together. If he uh, senses weakness in this bio force, if he manages to pick off a few extra marines like this, then he might want to dive on top of the entire force and snipe on a medic there, but loses a mutilus for that. More drones being rallied over to this base. Of course, the transition is well underway. Lurker aspect is coming we've got a science facility that's on the way as well and it does appear like the armor is going to finish so maybe he did get that ebay before the academy still picking off a few marines here and there slowing this down and shaving off some of the supply Still a very scary force, though. If this makes its way into your natural or your third base without being contested, it can definitely uh, bash down those two sunken colonies. No problem. A little bit of an engagement here. Most of the lings were just spent, so it's going to be hard to break this. A reinforcement train makes its way safely into the middle of the map. Would have been a much better target than that main group of bio that he was just diving upon, but... He wasn't aware of that. Lurkers are done in the natural and the third base. So we can go across the map. This mutilist group is now free. It no longer needs to... It's no longer hitched to this marine group. 
It's actually going to pull up because the Marines are going to try to dive in. Can he actually snipe down one of these Lurkers? One Lurker going to be targeted. First Lurker goes down. Second Lurker goes down. A great uh, group of spines there. Hits the right side of these Marines. And the Sunken Colonies will hold long enough for the Mutas to return and clear out that army. Beautifully done here by Saxtrish. Speed in a lot of trouble now. That was a huge commitment. And he lost all of his bio forces for just three lurkers and maybe a couple of mutas and lings. It's a not a good situation. He is in desperate straits right now. Take some damage on one of those science vessels. Can't really dive in and start to kill SCVs or anything like that. And we've actually, Terran, gone up to 41 SCVs and still continuing to produce. So it's likely we're going to see speed try to play this out in a bit of a longer game. He hasn't built any dropships and he's still continuing to build vessels. So it's pretty likely that we'll have a third base started uh, right away. Maybe just build a third CC here, maybe a fourth CC as well. And get ready to double expand because this fourth base is going to come up really, really soon. Two dropships are on the way, so he might try to deny that, but... It's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. We've still got tons of mutas. There's Scourge everywhere. Five lurkers here in the natural. Five lurkers in the third. Bunch of sunken colonies coming up. And the Hive is done. Defiler Mound is done. We'll have a Defiler out here in a moment. Plague is on the way. He's already got Consume. I don't actually see even a single Defiler at this point, but I'm sure there's going to be one popping out here in just a moment. There it is. He can get that Consume going. And look for the first Plagues of the game. CC is going to come down at the 6 o'clock. Great opportunity right now for Saxo to deny that. Moving into position to go ahead and snipe that down. However, drops are going to be coming in. And with the mutas on the other side of the map, there's a potential for these drops to deal quite a bit of damage. He's trying his hardest to bait the Scourge in because he doesn't want to send in the dropships with the Scourge in position. Double D-Matrix is going to nullify the value of these Scourge. They will connect, but they will not be able to kill. Okay, four Scourge is enough to kill, I suppose. Breaking that uh, D-Matrix and uh, killing off the dropship. However, quite a few of the units did make their way out. He's going to be able to target down one of these hatcheries, it looks like. At the same time, going to drop back here as well. Try to make things really chaotic for Saxory to deal with. Saxory losing a lot of drones right now. So many drones going down here in the natural. He's not really paying full attention to it. Instead, focusing on fighting these Marines in the main base. And wow, he loses the gas and every drone at the natural. Brutal damage there. Absolutely brutal damage. Another dropship over here. Appears like this one and this one going to be sent uh, over to that top right, try to break the base. Going after one of these evolution chambers, that plus one will finish. And so we have a one one here on these lings. Those dropships making their way over, but of course, lings much faster because of that nidus. They're going to jump through and arrive here before the drops can even unload. Uh, now that the, they have unloaded, though, not enough stuff to deal with this army. He's going to go ahead and plague those units. And that should give him the advantage enough so that he can deal with this army. But he lost a few more drones at this base once again. He needs a round of drones. And you can see he's starting to pump those out. But at the same time, he cannot let off the gas when it comes to building things like Scourge and uh, Defilers, Lurkers... Uh, and other defenses to stop these constant harassment attempts. Here comes an Irradiate. Gonna have to kill that. Gotta kill these. Oh my gosh. These two science vessels. 
with no HP. Come on, shoot it. Okay, he does get one. But there's three vessels here that could have been killed easily by those uh, Mutilus. Good split here from speed, making things crazy hard for Saxory to deal with. Scourge are going to come up. Should be able to kill both of these vessels. Marine's still getting a lot of damage. He may actually get this hatchery. This hatchery is getting very, very low. There's a race against time here. Can he actually save this? Oh my god. 40 HP. That's crazy. He's going to make that into a lair. Hopefully to add some more HP to that. Oh. Dropship making its way in here. Can he actually just drop on top of the hatchery and kill this? Two vessels coming in at the same time. They're going to go for an eraser trick. This drop at the back could actually kill the hatchery. Oh my god. Five kills. And two on that one. Brutal damage here with the eraser. The drop not getting sent forward to uh, deal with that layer. But this eraser into the main was huge. Another drop coming in here. Another group of medic marine. This should be it. He should be able to get on top and kill this. There it is. He snipes it down. The hatchery is gone. That is a terrible, terrible loss here for Saxory. And he may not be able to recover. Vessel. Once again, doing their eraser thing. Should be able to kill this. Okay, gets the kill on that vessel. Come on. What? That's out of range? Are you kidding me? Okay, finally. The Spore Colony picks up the slack. Finishes off that uh, vessel. And, I mean, I guess we can start to stabilize here as Saxory. But so much damage has been done by Speed. Speed, absolutely insane with the way that he's just constantly dropping. He's making it look like StarCraft 2, honestly. The way he's just dropping and picking up and running around, it's obviously not as effective when you don't have boost. I don't know who thought that was a good idea in StarCraft 2 boost for your dropships, but regardless, here we do not have boost, but speed making it feel like there's a boost. Make it feel like StarCraft 2, even if it's not. Flying around, just dealing so much damage. And wow, double D-Matrix Firebat. I don't think this can break the five Lurkers, though. Five Lurkers is a lot, boys. Like, okay, he's going to get on top of the Lurkers. Maybe with that Firebat on top of the Lurkers, he can actually kill this. It's damaging the whole stack. He does kill all five Lurkers. This one Firebat himself killing off two Lurkers in the stack, but dealing so, so much damage. More Lurkers are going to pop out. These are from the Natural. And it looks like he should be able to hold here. Gonna have to consume one drone. It drops a Dark Swarm. He will, in fact, hold. But it was a very close thing indeed. 1,900, 2,000 gas has been banked, by the way, for Saxory. Has he kept up on his upgrades? Yes. But he is yet to start plus three, plus, th uh, plus three, plus three just now getting that started four ultras on the way all of that gas was spent seven ultras on the way now wow 19 minutes in it's quite late for the ultras to start coming out here but there's just been so much pressure from speed it's been absolutely endless it's finally finally time for saxory to do some countering it's been a long time coming here. But he will be able to get out on this map. He's going to get his third gas or his fourth gas online very soon, it seems. He's just kind of forgotten about that for a moment. All the ultras are popping out. Do they have speed? They do. They have all of their upgrades. Uh, aside from that final carapace. Great plague there really great plague uh, these lurkers are going to be irradiated so they won't last too much longer oh, scourge flying through unfortunately not going to do anything oh there's the drop coming in drop is going to get off 
Lurk, uh, Ultras, though, should be able to deal with that, no problem, especially with the Plague. Everything going to be dealt with here pretty quickly. Of course, you can't actually kill these Marines. It's one of the most broken parts about this game, honestly, is that you cannot deal with that Marine at the back. You need Lings to get rid of that. So frustrating. We have a few Ultras here denying the, the base, the fourth base. Great Plague, but he actually plagues two of his own Ultras. That is rough. I think with the Plague and the Irradiate, does an Ultra die with just those two spells? I imagine it would, especially if you're going to stand this close to each other. Kind of crazy. But Saxory is finally putting on pressure. There we go. Going to get rid of that. Firebat as well. Quite a few vessels here. Getting a little bit feisty. Going to run right into some Scourge, potentially. One Ultra here. Plus three armor is almost done. He's been behind in upgrades for quite some time, but he's finally going to catch up, it seems. Ultra's getting cleared over here. Dropship going to go down, and I think that Saxory may have done it. All of the aggression that was put onto him earlier is now being traded back. And speed is on the defensive, trying to stabilize what is a very difficult game uh, with all these Ultras running around and potential Lurkers flooding in as well. Ultras going to come in kind of haphazard right now, but there are some Dark Swarms here to work with. He's actually taking a pretty reasonable trade considering he has the upgrade advantage for the next few seconds. It's a great time to fight this. An Ultra went down over here as well. Still no four bases, but three bases okay for a little bit as long as the Zerg player is still stuck on four. We're past the 22 minute mark, so the extractors are going to run out, I guess because this extractor was killed. Um, that's not quite the case just yet. Usually at 21 minutes, that will be gone. Coming up towards this natural once again. Going to drop a bunch of Dark Swarm or a bunch of uh, Irradiates again with this uh, Eraser. I saw that uh, Burrow was done, but he's not going to Burrow. Oh my goodness. Not Burrowing here. Finally, he does Burrow. But that was a pretty big mistake. Uh, not saving all of those drones. The final mining base uh, for speed is being denied right now that one defiler makes his way in and drops a dark swarm nine kill ultra gonna have an absolute field day killing off a huge amount of these marines some more ultras gonna make their way into the front barracks are pumping away and an army is coming over here to deny the fifth base i think he might just barely deny that yeah with the irradiate killing the Defiler, he will be able to stop that. More drones popping out. He is going to get his macro rolling once again, and speed is not mining. He's only got a couple patches here at his natural. Those are going to dry up in just a moment. The fifth base was denied, but speed cannot stabilize. He needs something more like mines or tanks or something. Oh, a drop over here in the top right. That's a pretty good move. That is a pretty sweet little move here. He kills the fourth hatch again. Oh boy, Speed is making this a, a bit of a game. Even though he's behind in supply. He's still got a lot of irradiates. A lot of irradiates to work with. He's got some marines. He's got a couple of floating command centers. He can land those and start to mine once again. Oh, this 23 kill ultra. Holy, 23 kills on that. Killing so many Marines and probably SCVs as well. That is crazy. This command center is likely to go down if he doesn't lift that off. Good amount of Marines here fighting some bruised up ultras. Might just barely be able to finish this off oh my god speed doesn't lift it gg is called speed taps out 
A nice little final hold here. The hoorah, the final hoorah was pretty intense. Killing off this fourth base for a second time. Almost managed to win him this game. It was super, super close, but in the end, Saxory able, able to overcome. Incredible composure, honestly, displayed from Saxory in this game. Uh, sometimes when the Terra players are just going absolutely wild in all of your bases with dropships and uh, eraser tricks and all of that stuff, you start to lose your composure. It's sometimes very hard to rebalance yourself and uh, get into your macro mode once again. Start to put the pressure back onto your opponent as well. Uh, just because you're dealing with so many different fires, there's things going on all over the map. There's so many different uh, basically natural disasters. It's like trying to contain a nat natural disaster or hurricane. Like everything is going wrong all at the same time and you're just trying to, you know, hold in the water, stop the bleeding, stop the, stop the uh, leaking at all these different places at the same time. Like a dam is about to break and you've got, you know, gum in every single little hole and you're trying to hold up the whole wall. Uh, it's uh, tough to remember that your opponent is also doing a dance and uh, putting on a lot of pressure, you know, throwing out a lot of units. And if you start to do damage to their economy and, and put some pressure onto them, then it becomes a lot harder to, to break down that wall. But I think Saxory did a pretty good job of stabilizing himself, putting on that pressure, and then getting all these bases mining once again. It was so close in this end game. Look at how low we are on minerals. Almost nothing in this natural depleted. This is depleted as well. Hardly any minerals here as well. Very, very low on a lot of these patches. And this base is dead. So really, what did Saxory have to work with? He managed to pop out, yes, six ultras. But that's about it. He's got six ultras and nothing else. Bunch of lings come out of the natural. And one Defiler is on his side of the map. I guess that's the killing blow, right? Having that Defiler right there in the front. But man, if Saxory had managed to get a few more minerals out, if he had uh, irradiated this Defiler as it was coming across the map and, you know, maybe soften these Ultras up a little bit more, get a couple more Radiates on these, he might have held. And we could have been going into a very strange situation where the Zerg player would end up mining on one base because eventually he's going to retake this. But can he retake or can he take another base at the same time? His money's very low. If all of these ultras die, <laughs> he gets this one base. One base mining Zerg with three depleted extractors and nothing else is a pretty weak position to be in. And we might have seen some sort of comeback from speed or a win from speed here. Pretty insane game. I love to see games like this. This is why I really enjoy speed replays. As I hope you've enjoyed this one as well. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.